Clap your voice and worship your mighty God, your maker, your creator, your savior, your redeemer, the ever faithful, the ever loving, the ever caring, the one who, are, who is and who is to come, the unchangeable changer. Appreciate God for your life. Appreciate God for every member of your household. Appreciate God for your going on and your coming in. Appreciate God for all the battles. Appreciate God for the deliverances. Appreciate God for the healings. Appreciate God for all the victory. Appreciate God for the help that they have received from the Lord. Appreciate God for His goodness and mercy that follow you. Appreciate God for answer prayers. Prayer and answer the ways yet to answer. Appreciate God for the gift of life. Many slept last night. Not all that slept last night woke up this morning. But the Lord has counted you among the living. Go ahead and return all glory to Him. He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the honor. Thank you for totality of this year, totality of this month, and all that I have done this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is another Thursday. Tell God how grateful you are. Tell God you appreciate it. Tell God you return all glory to Him. For it's not by mind, it's not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Ye kapa la masanta le mama. Thank God for not allowing our garden to be vain. Thank God for His children. Thank God for what God is doing in His children. What God is doing in the city of life. What God is doing in our nation. Appreciate God. Appreciate God. Lift up your voice and give Him glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are worship. Merciful is the Lord. Merciful. Merciful, 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 Daddy. Merciful, merciful, merciful. We say, Merciful is the Lord. Our God is merciful. Merciful. Oh, yes, Lord. Merciful, merciful, merciful. I say, Merciful, merciful, merciful. Oh yes, Lord. Merciful is the Lord. Have mercy upon me. Lord, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Today, Almighty God, have mercy upon me. Today, have mercy upon me. Jehovah God, have mercy upon me. Can you lift up your voice and ask God to have mercy upon you today? The Bible says His mercies are new every morning. If the mercy of the Lord are new every morning, then you need a dose, you need a capsule of His mercy even on a daily basis. Go ahead, ask Him for mercy. Say, Lord, over me and every member of my household, over me and all our brethren, over me and every member of your church, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In your mercy, pardon all our iniquities and transgressions. In your mercy, hear our cry. In your mercy, perform signs and wonders. In your mercy, let us receive our miracles. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have received mercy. Only one person said, Amen. If you know the merciful Lord, I've shown you mercy. Say a louder, Amen. amen. As the year is gradually coming to an end, the only thing that will come to an end in your life shall be sorrow, amen. sicknesses, amen. diseases, amen. lack, amen. poverty. Amen. In the name of Jesus. As the year is going to an end, your joy will never end. Your peace will never end. Your blessing shall be endless. If you are saying amen, let it be louder than your neighbor. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 8. And I will encamp 
about my house because of the army because of the evil remaining in this year the Lord will encamp around you and your house he said because of him that passed by and because of him that returned and no oppressor shall pass through them anymore anyone that want to oppress you God will overthrow them for now have I seen with my eyes. Lift up your two hands to heaven. Brother, this word of assurance coming from God to somebody and his family. When God encamp around about you, your safety, your protection, all is guaranteed. When the Lord encamp around about you, he will not permit anyone to do you evil. When God encamp around about you, no arrow is permitted to penetrate you. No bullet is permitted to, to, to hit you. When the Lord encamp around about you, no one is permitted to hurt you. Lift up your two hands and pray loud and clear and cry to the Almighty God and say, Father, according to your word, and cap ran about me and my entire household that we may not know evil that no play we come near or no affliction no sickness no disease no tragedy no calamity no evil befall us for lord god almighty you will come run about us as mountains surround jerusalem you will come run about us is somebody praying at all Add that the almighty god we encamp run about you run about you run about you kapole ma santali mama zugale brondo ko santali hey jesus mighty name we have prayed when the syrian sent their army against elisha they didn't know that the lord had a cap run about elisha with chariots of fire with horses of fire praise the lord by the time the servant woke up in the morning he saw that the enemy have invaded them and have surrounded them and then and there he cried and elisha prayed a simple prayer he said lord open his eyes and by the time god opened the eyes of the servant the servant realized that they were saved they were secure because they were surrounded by chariots of fire horses of fire that ordinary i could not see and that was why the enemy could not hurt them i decree in that name that is above every other name whatever evil remaining this year the lord will encamp around about you if you are saying amen say loud and clear so you will cry to the almighty god and say father say father every agent on assignment against me and my household let them meet with the chariots of fire the horses of fire that you will use to a cap run about me go ahead talk to the almighty god as you go out as you come in the lord will encamp run about you Kalika kutalaba shenteli mama susale brande kaka. Is somebody praying at all? Is somebody praying at all? Thank you, mighty Father. Hey, Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. I wouldn't know how many of us are planning to travel, but in that name that is above every other name, on the road or at home, the Lord will encamp round about you. The blood sucking demons will not see you. Witches and wizards will not see you. Kidnappers will not see you. Armed robbers will not see you. Hired assassins will not see you. Witches and wizards will not see you. Lift up your two and say, Father, as I go out and as I come in, and as I embark on any form of journey, oh God, my Father, according to your word, encamp about me run about go ahead and talk to the mighty god 
Gaga, baba, baba. Kaka, ma chien t'allez, maman. Gajen te le bro, kassan t'allez, maman. Ske le branda, kassan t'allez, maman. Hey, Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Now lift up your hand and say, Father, let the armies of the wicked never prevail over me. Listen to me. God says, the reason why he will encamp round about you, he says, is because of the army. And when you read the book of Joel chapter 2, the Bible talks about the army of God, the locusts, the canker worm, the palmer worm, that eat up your heaven, that doesn't allow to prosper. He said, because of those, those army, he says, he's going to do what? Encamp round about the house. Praise the Lord. Can I pray for you, sir? As you go into this year, no locust, no canker worm, no palmer worm will be able to eat your harvest. Lift up your two hands and say, Father, give me victory over all the armies of the enemy. Over locusts, over palmer Papa, my worm over canker worms, Lord, your army. Let me, oh God, prevail over the armies of the wicked, over the armies of the wicked, over the armies of the wicked, over the armies of the wicked. We shall prevail. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Another reason why God said, I will encamp about my house, He said, because of He that passed by and because of Him that returned and no oppressor shall pass through them anymore as you go into year 2023 no oppressor shall pass through you no oppressor shall be able to oppress you lift up your two and say father say father deliver me and my entire household from the hand of all oppressor power that oppress in the physical in the spiritual Lord deliver me. Go ahead, touch the Almighty God. My riba to gashen tali mama. Zaza la pato gashen tali mama kasu tali. Rika kapole prande kasan tali mama. Jele gaku san tali mama kasan tali. Kure mate kasan tali. Le prande kasan tali. No more oppressor shall pass through you anymore. Kari mama kashen tali nana. Ma su tali kasen tali. Ah, ma sinte le broko san tali ya. In Jesus mighty name We are praying Listen to me The Bible says For now I have seen With my eyes This was the same statement That God made to Moses Say I have seen the affliction Of my people In Egypt Praise the Lord He said and I have come to do all To deliver them I pray for you sir God will see your situation and rescue you from the hand of enemies stronger than you. God will see your affliction and heal you totally. He said, For now have I seen with my eye. Little of your chance, Father. Please see my situation. Please see my condition. Please see the, my predicament and intervene. See my problem. See my trouble. See my pain and arise. Go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. He said, For now I have seen with my eyes. Let God see your situation. Let God see your predicament. Let God see your challenges. Let God see your trouble. Let God see your pains. Let God see how the enemy are oppressing you and deliver you. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Lift up your two and say, Father, I have no power of my own. I have no strength of my own. I hand over my day to your hand. O oh God of heaven and earth, glorify your name and surprise me. Throughout today, let me know peace. Throughout today, let me know joy. Throughout today, let blessing locate me. Throughout today, let help come for me. Throughout today, let me not lack any good thing. Throughout today, let me not weep. Let me not mourn. Let me not fail. Let me not be frustrated. Can you speak into your day? Open your mouth. Speak into your day. Prophesy into your day. Command your day to favor you. Command your day to bless you. Command your day this morning. 
that only the will of God will be done in your hand in your life today. Only the will and the counsel of God shall be done in your life today. Nothing shall be permitted to work against you. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I don't know how many of us have already received that ultimate Christmas gift from the Almighty God. But one thing is certain you will not end this year empty handed. So you lift up your two hands and say, Father, your word it is written. Ask, and you shall be given. I stand here today. I ask for my Christmas gift, for my New Year present. For anyone that ask it, receive it. Lord, please remember me. Lord, remember me. This money can buy, this money cannot buy. This I've never received before in my life. <laughs> Lord, release unto me. Payika <laughs> Labo Santalia. Release unto me and my household. Paye Polo Boru Santali, Mama. Zalika Paye Gadaka Santali. Rakute Kaswanta La Prande Kasantali. So Salamash and Tele. Paul Rimati Gazanda. Libron de Kete Gazuntali, Mama Shentali. Rika Kuta Basantalia. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. Daddy, you want to say good morning? Loving God, we appreciate you. What a great God you are. What a mighty God you are. What a powerful God you are. Yesterday, you are God. Today, you remain God. Forever, you will be God. January, you are God. February, you are God. March, you are God. April, you are God. May you are God, June you were God, July you were God, August you were God, September you were God, October you were God, November you are God, December you remain God, years to come you will remain God, to eternity you forever remain God. That we say be glorified in Jesus' name. Thank you for peace. Thank you for joy. Thank you for healings. Thank you for deliverances. Thank you for your sister's blessing. Thank you for all round victory. Thank you for answer prayer. Thank you for helping us thus far. Thank you for where you started with all. Thank you for where you are brought on. Thank you for where you are taking us to. Thank you for your plan and purpose for our life. Thank you for frustrating our enemy. Lord, I said our time in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your church. Thank you for our nation. Thank you for all the things you are doing. That is accept our thanks in Jesus name daddy you are a merciful God and your mercies are new every morning today oh God show us mercy in your mercy pardon all our iniquity all our transgressions all our trespasses in your mercy hear our cry in your mercy grant our heart desire in your mercy let all be well with all daddy wherever you hear a louder amen this morning as mountains surround Jerusalem and come run above our house in the name of Jesus that no arrow or the wicked will be able to touch us no man shall be able to do us wrong ah daddy I ask this morning every bullet of the wicked back to sender in the name of Jesus Lord deliver us from the armies of the wicked let the army of the enemy not prevail over all grant us all round victory let no oppressor be able to pass through us anymore that they see our situation today see our condition today arise and intervene in the name of Jesus I decree as you handed over your day into the hands of the Lord today it shall be well with you as you go out the Lord will go with you as you come in the Lord will come in with you his goodness and mercy will follow you his blessing will not cease over your life men will remember you to do you good today in the mighty name of Jesus and that Christmas gift that you have been asking from God let God surprise you such as you have never received in your life before let God send help us to you in the name of Jesus may you end this year rejoicing may men congratulate you on the account of what God will do in your life in the name of Jesus and wherever my father will hear a ladder amen so shall it be so we have decreed so will it come to power in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Seven powerful amen like thunder, louder, three, four, five, six. Jump on your feet and say.
Lift up your right hand and say with me very quickly because of time. Say, may the name of the Most High God forever be praised. For his awesomeness, power, and glory. He rules in the affairs of men. He is the father of the fatherless, the husband of the widows. All glory and honor be to our God forever and ever. I declare and I confirm concerning me and my household that as mountains surround Jerusalem, the Lord will encamp about our house and he will not allow any evil pass through us. His eyes shall forever be open up and he will give his angels charge over us every day of our life. I declare and I confirm that the Lord will not permit the oppressors to pass through us anymore. Every activities of the oppressors against us are totally destroyed and the Lord shall avenge for us and fight all our battles. I declare and I confirm that nothing shall be able to trouble me anymore. The eyes of the Lord have seen all the enemy have done against me. The Lord shall avenge for me and deliver me. I declare and I confirm that all shall be well with me now and forevermore. The whole world shall see the glory of the Lord upon my life and glorify the Most High God. I will finish well. I will finish strong. My ending shall be far better than my beginning. I will not go to hell. I will reign in eternity. I will love the Lord and I will serve the Lord all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Can you go ahead and bless the Holy Ghost? Thank you, mighty Father. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. I said myself a pastoral agreement with you this morning that 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 you have spoken with your mouth, you will eat the fruit of your lips. The word of God it is written. As I've had you spoken into my ear, so shall I do. That that you have spoken into the ears of the Almighty God, He will do for you in the name of Jesus. Today I decree, in that name that is above every other name, you will give testimonies concerning your declarations, concerning your confession. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three powerful amen. Put those hands together for Jesus. Do I have your permission to pray for you? May the Lord remember your good works. Only one person is saying amen. I say, may the Lord remember your good works. The day the king remembered the good work of Mordecai, that day he rose from a gate man to second in command. In that name that is above every other name, the Lord will remember your good works. You can play be seated in his presence. If you are a widow in the house and you are not a regular member of City of Life, but you come to Good Monolith, can you stand? Is there anybody? Widow, not widower. <laughs> Praise God. Where is Mommy? Are these people in your fellowship? Look at them very well. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of you should see us after the program. Congratulations. You can please be seated. How you have attended to those that are our members? Ma? You are still attending to them. Okay. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Who is Jesus? Eh? 
Jesus is who? Jesus is giver. Ah, ah. Let's clap for Edda. <laughs> Jesus is giver, and so we will continue to do all to give. We don't have time to this morning. So I will not run through what we did the day before yesterday and yesterday. I want to go straight to the what we want to discuss. We are talking about Jesus, a miracle worker. Am I correct? So this morning, we want to talk about timely miracle. What do I call it? Who won that one? Timely miracle. Can I pray for you, sir? Before Christmas, I'm not talking about New Year. Before Christmas, you will receive a timely miracle. I will tell you straight away what timely miracle is. But let's read the Bible. It remains John chapter 2, verse 1 to 11. Let me just rush it. And the third day there was a marriage in Cana or Galilee. And the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called. And his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus said unto him, They have no wine. Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not yet come. His mother said unto the servant, Whatsoever he said unto you, do what? Do it. And there were set, and there were set there six water pot of stone. And the manner after the manner of the purifying of the Jews, containing two or three fakings apiece, Jesus said unto them, Fill the water pot with water, and they fill them up to the brim. And he said unto them, Draw out now and bear unto the governor of the feast. And they bear it. And when the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine, and knew not whence it was, but the servant which drew the water knew, the governor of the feast called the bridegroom and said unto him, Every man at the beginning does set for good wine. And when men have well drunk, then that which is worse, but thou hast kept the good wine until now. This beginning of miracle did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested for his glory and his disciple believed on him. And his disciple did what? Believe on him. Brethren, we have been talking about Jesus a miracle worker. We've told her what a miracle is. We told her what Jesus possessed that can make him perform miracles. Am I correct? I say, am I correct? But one thing you will deduce from our Bible passage is that Jesus is not just a miracle worker but Jesus performed timely miracle. And you will all agree with me from our Bible passage that the miracle that Jesus performed at the wedding at Cana of Galilee was timely. The mother approached him and said to him, the wine is finished. Can I pray for somebody? Anything that is finished in your life that ought not to have finished, I decree. Before sunset today, there shall be provision. Is it money that has finished in your pocket? What is it? Is it food? Is it your joy? What is it that is finished? The Jesus that performed miracle will perform a miracle in your life. In the name of Jesus. The story can be seated in that book of John chapter 2 verses 1 to 11 can be likened to the story in Luke chapter 7 verse 11 to 17. You know the story of the widow of Nain. She was a widow 
because she no longer had husband. And now the Bible said that the only son, the what? The only son, death also came and snatched him. They were already on their way to the cemetery to bury this young boy when there was a timely miracle where sorrow was turned to joy. Where rest in peace became rise in peace. Can I pray for you, sir? In that name that is above every other name. From January till now, you have been crying to God. He will not allow you to be put to shame. Why? Be seated for a while. Timely miracle should be desire of everybody. Or do I have anybody here that does not desire timely miracle? If you don't desire timely miracle, shout hallelujah. Okay, they didn't come. So if you want one, let your hallelujah be louder than your neighbor. Because you want it, you will receive it. Because there is no reason to doubt Jesus. That is a miracle working God. Praise the Lord. Why do we need to ask him for timely miracle? Number one, timely miracle rescue from shame and disgrace and brings glory and honor. You can imagine that bridegroom, the governor was still seated at the feast. Supposing Jesus did not perform that miracle and the wine finally got exhausted and got finished, you think the man will be honored? Eh? Eh? But he received honor and glory because Jesus performed a timely miracle for him. Because the governor had to invite him and the governor made some highly instructive statement. He says, I've been attending parties. And I know anytime I go to parties, celebrants, they are always in the habit of bringing the best wine. So that when they are now drunk, and they cannot differentiate anymore. They bring what? The worst, the bad one. He said, but in your own case, it's different. Now, you are bringing the best instead of bringing the best first. There is somebody here, sir. The best of your desire shall be what God will give to you. I repeat, the best of your desire shall be what God will give to you. Be seated, let me explain that prayer point I just prayed for you. When I'm talking about the best of your desire. Once upon a time, 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 you say time, time. Praise God. <laughs> I was desirous of a car, saving to buy the car, it was to Kumbo, Maza 323. It was sold then for maybe 300 and something. Everything I bought it is three. Praise God. Maza 323 sold for 300 and something. The more I save the money, the more something will happen and the money will go down. Praise the Lord. And I was not able to go and buy the Maza 323. And then and there, unknown to me, that God has a plan to give me the best 
of my desire. My desire was a car. And because I know my level, I wasn't dreaming high. But because God is God, He performed a miracle for me. It was a tear robber. Can I pray for one more person? The best of your desire, I repeat, the best of your desire, before the end of this year, let God deliver to you in the name of Jesus. So you lift up your two hands and say, Father, say, Father, perform a timely miracle in my life and turn my shame to glory. Can you go ahead and touch with Almighty God? <laughs> Rescue me from shame and disgrace. Ask God to perform a timely miracle and rescue you from shame and disgrace. Shame and disgrace. Pali Kapa Yega Zanda. Roko Pole Bragada Basan Talimama. Zazalabo Telema Kashen Talimama. Zabole Gazia Talia. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Be still because of time. Number two, timely miracles wipe away your tears. Timely miracles do what? That was why in that book of Luke chapter 7, verses 11 to 17, when Jesus was to perform a timely miracle for the widow of Nain, Jesus walked to her and said to her, Weep not. Weep not. I know there is somebody here listening to me who wept all the night over a particular issue. Hear me as I hear God. The Lord will wipe away your tears. That will be the last time you will weep over that matter. No matter how impossible your case looks like, the Lord that specializes in turning impossibility to possibility. We do your own in the name of Jesus. He wiped away her tears and said to her, Weep not. May the angels of God with divine anchorship visit you where you are right now and wipe away your tears wipe away your tears remember also the story in 2nd King chapter 7 sorry 2nd King chapter 4 verse 1 to 7 the editors came to take the two sons away at that nick of time brethren this kind of miracle that we are talking about this one may it happen in your life do you know what it means when you are in a feast when you are what when you know that it's only God that can do this at that nick of time at that what nick of time there is a divine intervention it wipes away your tears God has done it for me severally when I will be in need at that nick of time there will be provision. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. There are some testimony we don't have to share openly. If not so, you say God is partial. Praise the Lord. He wiped away her tears. Stand on your feet and say, Father, as I go into the new year, wipe away my tears let me not have reason to weep anymore can you go ahead and pray for yourself oh my santa la brande ka santa kakaba le baba ka santa li mama kele ga santa li mama ka santa li in jesus mighty name we are praying this is let me just give you two more and we rise up to pray and we'll be on our way because of time brethren do you know why jesus performed timely miracle it brings encouragement. It brings what? Listen to me. There is nothing that is as discouraging as you have a need 
and it's not men and you are serving God faithfully as a matter of fact your mockers will mock at you they say ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good morning Holy Spirit good afternoon Holy Spirit good evening Holy Spirit you are still borrowing matches for me can I pray for somebody my God we encourage you timely miracles brings encouragement that's why anytime I hear brethren share testimonies after programs like this sir my heart is full of joy because I am encouraged to do more My standing here this morning is a miracle. If you know how many hours I spent inside traffic yesterday and the time I got home and I'm still standing here today, ha, ah, it can only be God. But what is it that gives us strength to continue doing it is the testimony that follow. Those miracles. I pray for you. My Father in heaven, we encourage you. You will not seek him in vain. The Bible says he's not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. Anyone waiting to mock you, to ask where is your God, your God will answer them. I say your God will answer them. Whatever you are trusting him for, whatever you are believing for, he had the best of it for you. I say he had the best of it for you. Lie, lie. Praise God. Why? Timely miracle. Number four. Maybe I will stop here. Brethren, these are miracles that increase faith. That increase what? Faith. That's why you will not be surprised <laughs> when the Bible says in that verse 11 of our Bible passage, verse 11, let's read it together. Verse 11. Can we go ahead? Engineers, give us verse 11 of John 2. Want to go? This beginning of all miracle did who? Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested for his glory and what happened and his disciples believed on him listen to me it wasn't as if the disciples were never believers they were believers but when the bible said they believe on him their faith in christ did what increase listen to me if i can stand here and i'm still telling you that it is not over yet if I can stand there and I'm still telling you that either you believe it or not, either you say me or not, that you are still going to receive a miracle before the end of the year. I can do that because I have seen God perform miracles that have increased my faith. Because the year God gave me care of it was December. Not 1st of December. Not 20th of December. Not 25th of December. 34th, not in the morning. 34th, not in the afternoon. In the evening. When we were planning crossover night. And God said, my son, I still have a miracle for you. <laughs> Praise God. That's why I cannot give up. Even as I made it to the new year, I know there is a miracle. Who, who had that faith? <laughs> I said, who had that mean? Timely miracle increase your faith. Increase your faith. Because you get to the level that you know and realize that God can do it. Just last week, the engineer that uh, built our house met me there in front of the church. And we're talking. And he said, Pastor, when are you moving into your auditorium? I said, By the special grace of God, we are doing crossover night there. 
He said, he said, Pastor, that's how you rush me that you say you will not spend your new year in a tenant, as a tenant, that you want to enter your house and you make it. Is that what you are? I say, yes, I have faith. Let's say shout hallelujah. But it be like I say, the workers are disappointing me. <laughs> Let somebody shout hallelujah. Because when I was to move to my house, ask my, 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 my wife. I told the engineer, This new year, I am not and I'm not staying where I live. Either you finish or not, I am sleeping inside that place. How God is it to me? I remember as at the time I was telling the engineer about two weeks to I still needed almost eight million plus, and I have no one cover. And by the time we finished service on Sunday, by the following morning, as I was going to work, it wasn't an uh, it wasn't an alert. It was an alarm. It was what an alarm. By the time I returned back, I told the engineer, fire the work. <laughs> Let's say <we> shout hallelujah. <laughs> by the time we finished crossover night here, I drove to where I was living carry my phone tight on the car. Praise God. <laughs> and that was how I moved to my house. By the time neighbors came in the morning to come and take picture of certain things they also want to put in there, they met that we are already in the house. They said, ah, you guys are bad neighbor. You did not even tell us you are coming in. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Is that a bad neighbor or a good neighbor? Rise on your feet. <laughs> Let somebody shout hallelujah. My God will increase your faith. <laughs> Only one person is saying amen. You see, while I'm sitting, while, while I'm standing here telling you what I'm telling you, I'm not telling you to excite you, to make you laugh. No. I am speaking experientially. I am speaking how? Experientially. It's what I have experienced. I know this God to that extent. Lift up your two hands. And say, Father, a miracle that will boost my faith. I can't hear loud and clear. Listen to me. A miracle is a booster. When you see a booster, it increases. Say, Father, say loud and clear. Father, a miracle that will boost my faith. Perform it now. In my life, go ahead and talk to the Almighty God. Kapali matoga, shenta lima makasanta liya. Roba setele le gazun talima ma. Jimale gazun tolo pra e kapula ma shanta li. Zali kapanda likato gazin tali. Go rema tu gazan tanda lima ma. Rokoto gazian talima ma. Jegede gazutolo gaza le pokotolo liklanda that increase my faith the more with your miracles makutala rika kaba yekata in the life of your children masutala perform miracles that will boost their faith kasutala la thank you my dear father hey Jesus my name we are praying finally lift up your two hands we are talking about timely miracle we'll continue from here tomorrow. Brother, one thing is certain. <laughs> I know who I am talking about. Can you call that name loud and clear? Yeah. Lift up your hand and say to him, and say, Lord Jesus, you have not changed. I know you. You can perform timely miracle. Do my own now. Can you go ahead and cry to the Almighty God? Ask the Lord to do your own now. Lord, I know you. I know you. You have not changed. You are the unchangeable changer. You can perform timely miracle. Do my own. Do that of my household. Do that of your children today. Karima, mama, mama. Kala breke te gazunta li mama. Zegaba ya neboto gazinta. Re kaka. Barima mama kaswanta lala. Jelegede gazunta li mama kaswanta li. Thank you, mighty father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. 
stretch forth your hands to the altar. Let me pray for you. Either you believe or not. I exercise the faith I have in Jesus. And I decree right away that even before Christmas, let my God perform timely miracle in your life. Miracle that will rescue you from shame and disgrace. Miracles that will encourage you for the rest of your life. Miracles that will increase your faith. Miracles that will silence your mocker. I say receive your hope in the name of Jesus. Financially receive your hope. Materially receive your hope. Maritally receive your hope. Professionally receive your hope. Academically receive your hope. Career well receive your hope. In business receive your hope. In breakthrough receive your hope. In healing receive your hope. In deliverance receive your hope. In the name of Jesus. A timely miracle that was performed at the Red Sea that did not allow the enemy overrun the children of Israel. I decree your enemy will not overrun you. I say your enemy will not overrun you. The name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is where we lift up your offering and use it as a point of contact and say, Father, I want a financial timely miracle that will solve the problem in my life. Now, oh yeah, go ahead and tell him. He will do it for you. I will hear your testimony. Kalima to Gashentali Mama. Zezale Mate Gajinta Liprokotoga Santa Day. Thank you, mighty Father, and so shall it be in Jesus' name. The Lord will do it for you. Give cheerfully grace 